This year, more and more classroom pets are being incorporated into daily learning. Educators say animals are helping young children with coping skills and also giving them insight into scientific behavior. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has details. I can write down what it's doing and I can draw what it's doing. Six-year-old Harley Gale is enthralled with Pearl the Axolotti salamander. And if he goes out of water, he will die. What is he using to breathe? The gills. Pearl's one of five unique animals residing in the classroom of teacher Renee McDermott at Lennox Elementary in Baldwin, joining a leopard gecko, Oreo, a hamster named Rocky, a fish called Onyx, and Ruby the pygmy hedgehog. The hedgehog goes in and we got to read a book to them. Ruby can be slipped into a little pouch on the lap of a student who quietly reads to her. They will show us their emotions. They sure do. Yeah, but Ruby does the most of the emotions. Ruby shares messages of feelings, curling in a ball, showing her quills in foot races with hamster Rocky. We made mazes for the hamster. Humans and animals all have ways to communicate, and it's not always through words, that sometimes it's through watching and observing. McDermott says animals address her students so social and emotional needs and learn the science. We have animals from different habitats and so we're learning about woodland animals, aquatic animals, desert animals. Children share responsibility, composting their apple cores, banana peels. I never have to buy new worms because the cycle just keeps going. Mealworms are propagating in oatmeal, turning into beetle food. Students are growing pea shoots hydroponically. According to Pet Care Trust, which offers grants to educators to sponsor pets in classrooms, Rooms, requests are up 36 percent. We have issued more than 230,000 grants. You know, teachers are just seeing actually better classroom behavior as well. The empathy and the compassion for their peers, not just the animal. Better attendance, parental involvement. We could give adults quizzes on the amount that our young people know coming from that classroom. I'm sure we would all fail. If it's scared, then what do you want to do? Help it feel better. An immersive experience of life from Baldwin, Long Island. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.